Oh, I, I um, you know, that was one of the things from the beginning that I was pretty convinced that even though crypto was evolving and there were several coins, that I wanted to stay pretty much with, you know, the company that had the, or the, the, the current, the, the cryptocurrency that had the uh, more mature blockchain, because I was very, you know, uh, very interested in, in blockchain te technology. And, um, you know, just felt like, you know, uh, diversifying out into other cryptocurrencies didn't make too much sense to me. Now, I know Ethereum, Ethereum was something that I was, you know, also considering, but I felt everything is riding with Bitcoin in one form or another. So why not just stick with that, which is what I've done. Well, right now, Bitcoin, because of the, you know, of the potential of price increase it's just uh, even though there's still some you know to me backward thinking and i don't think they understand the product yet i think it's just uh, another bubble but i think um it's uh the only alternative to you know paper money is the only thing that is going to keep the value of whatever you have for the long run. That's why I bought it, just so that I wouldn't be not only not making any money in the bank, but being eaten by inflation, so. Uh, you know, I don't have a favorite, really. I really don't. It's just, it's just, they are different things and they do different things and you need to treat them based on what they are. You know, when you really understand they're all designed different and they do different things and you need to use them for what they are designed to do. It's more it's more like, I'm not in love with them anymore. I've been in love with lots of them, you know? I'm not in love anymore, they're just things, you know what I mean? And they do certain things better than other things. Do you? So, do, so Bitcoin's the one that you own, you never move, you keep it in a really, really safe place and you let other people kind of let you make money off of it, you know, without touching it. It's, it's the it's the nucleus of the cell. It's the, if, if it was an electrical circuit, it'd be the ground, you know? It's like more like the metric system in a way. It's, it's just predictable boringness, but because of that, you can just predict so far out to the future, do all this other stuff with all these other things because you've got the side reel measurement. You know, it's so great. So it's the most important one. Let's just say that Bitcoin is. It could probably succeed on its own. All the other ones kind of need Bitcoin. Of course, Bitcoin is my favorite, but um, yeah, you know, it is weird. These coins do have a personality of their own. I do have just a little bit of holdings on my phone and Robinhood and Coinbase. And so, um, you know, I guess number two would probably be Dogecoin for obvious <laughs> reasons of Elon. Um, Next to that, I would guess would be uh, XRP. I did find, you know, I did jump on the XRP when they went into court and they said they were going to stop selling it and it plummeted to 17 cents. I was able to jump on the XRP at 19 cents. I was hoping just to say, get enough money for a vacation this year or something like that. And it's, it's, it's really ramped up today. So I would say definitely Dogecoin, Bitcoin, Dogecoin, XRP, and, um, Digibyte, Digibyte, I was definitely looking at for a while too. I don't know. I just think those little guys, those little, those little cap coins are just so interesting to see if they can they can take on the big boys and grow. But uh, what I don't like about them smaller coins is their the amount of them. I like the rarity of the Bitcoin, but I like the cheapness and of the low caps. So you know, I understand them low caps are for a reason because there's just so many of them.